So in this video, we're looking at how to square an expression, an algebraic expression in particular. Uh, it's also known as how to square brackets. We're going to look at four different examples ranging in difficulty. You can see there in the third one, it includes a fraction. So let's have a look at the first one here and see how we get on. So this question here is asking us to square x plus 2. Now just remember what the squared means. The squared basically means you're multiplying something by itself. So if I gave out the sum uh, 5 squared, that's the same as going 5 multiplied by 5, which is 5 in one bracket, 5 in the other. So we don't need to show that multi multiply sign. So if I'm squaring out x plus 2, it's basically asking me to multiply x plus 2 by x plus 2. That's basically what that is asking us to do. And when we're multiplying out brackets, we take the first term from the first bracket. So that's the x. It's this x here that I'm taking. And then I'm multiplying it by the second bracket. So I'm multiplying it by x plus 2. So it's x times x plus 2. I'm then taking the second term from the first bracket, which is my plus 2. And I'm multiplying it by the second bracket. So plus 2 times my second bracket, which again is x plus 2. I'm now going to multiply in my first bracket. So I'm drawing my arrows here to denote multiplication. So x by x is x squared. I then multiply the x by the positive 2 to get positive 2x. I then multiply in my second bracket, which is 2 multiplied by x, which is plus positive 2x once again. And then I multiply in my 2 by 2, which is positive 4. I'm then going to group the 2x and the 2x together, the like terms, I'm going to add them together, which is giving me 4x. So my final answer there is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Coming over to the second one. Uh, process is the same. I've just put in a minus sign here and a coefficient in front of that a. And what I'm going to do here is, once again, it's asking me to square out the brackets. So that means I'm multiplying the number or the term by itself. So it's 2a subtract 3 multiplied by 2a subtract 3. That's what the question is asking me to do. Once again, it's first term by second bracket, so 2a by 2a minus 3. And then the second term, so this minus 3 here, minus 3 multiplied by my second bracket, which is everything in the second bracket, which is 2a subtract 3. So I'm multiplying that out again. I'm going to use my arrows once again to denote multiplication. So 2a by 2a, so the 2 by the 2 is giving me 4, a by a is giving me a squared. Just be careful here with the signs, a positive multiplied by a negative gives me a negative 6a. And when I multiply in the minus 3, I get different signs once again, which gives me negative 6a. But when I multiply a minus 3 by a minus 3, a minus by a minus gives me a positive 9. I'm putting like terms together. So I have a minus 6a and a minus 6a. Don't put the 4a squared with it because that has a squared here. So that's a different term, a degree of 2, we call it, to the power of 2. So my final answer is a quadratic of 4a squared minus 12a plus 9. And that's our second one done. Now, I just want to note at that stage, maybe some people can see a quicker way of doing it. You can also see that uh, if I was to square 2a, I get the 4a squared. So hopefully you can see that. If I was to square the minus 3, so minus 3 by minus 3 gives me positive 9. And you can see that in the first question as well. See the way a or x squared gives me x squared and positive 2 all to be squared gives me positive 4. You can see where they come from. And now look what happens is if you were to multiply the, or the product of the two terms within the brackets. So look what happens here. If I was to multiply the 2a by the minus 3, I get the minus 6. So I have minus 6 and minus 6 to get me the minus 12. So you can sometimes uh, do these in your head uh, if you didn't want to write out uh, all of the steps involved. But I think it's best to uh, follow it step by step. Coming over to example 3 here, we're just getting into one with a fraction. So once again, it's asking us to multiply out the brackets. So it is a squared, so I'm multiplying it by itself. So x plus a third times x plus one third. I'm taking my first term, multiplying it by my second bracket, which is x plus a third. 
plus my second term, which is the third, times my second bracket. I wouldn't go turning these into decimals. I would keep them as fractions uh, because you're in infinite decimal when I turn in my one third. I'm going to multiply in my bracket. X multiplied by X is giving me X squared. I'm then multiplying the X by the one third, which is giving me plus one third X. I then multiply the one third into the second bracket. So one third by X is giving me again, one third X. And then one third multiplied by one third, which is top by top, bottom by bottom. So one by one is one, three by three is nine. So my final answer there is, again, if I group the common terms, x squared plus 2 thirds x plus 1 over 9. And that is our answer to example 3. Let's have a look at our fourth example here. So this example, again, is asking us to square out our brackets. So it's going to be a plus 2b. multiplied by a plus 2b. So that's what the squared means. You're multiplying it by itself. And its first term, which is a times a plus 2b. And then second term, which is my 2b, multiplied by my second bracket, which is a plus 2b. I then multiply in my bracket. a multiplied by a is giving me a squared. a multiplied by 2b is giving me plus 2ab. I multiply in my second set of brackets. It's 2b multiplied by a, which is plus 2ab. Now that's the same thing as writing 2ba. Uh, just we'll pause there for a second. These are basically the same thing. a, b times each other is the same as b multiplied by a. They're known as commutative. Think about it. It doesn't matter if I multiply 2 by 3 or 3 by 2, I get 6 either way. So don't be too stressed if you're trying to figure out do I write it AB or BA. It doesn't matter. They're both the same thing. And my final step is the 2B multiplied by the 2B. Do them in stages. The 2 multiplied by the 2 is giving me 4, and B multiplied by B is giving me 4B squared. And my final step to get our full marks here is to write it in its simplest form. So it's A squared plus, well, how many ABs do I have now? I have four of them. So I have four AB, or that can be written as four BA. I'm just writing it alphabetically there, plus four B squared. And that is our final answer. So there's four examples of multiplying out brackets. So I hope that helps.